hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to confirm and delete the data using jquery ajax in codeigniter 4 so guys we will be using one pop-up model that is bootstrap model something like this okay so let's get started with it so let's move to our editor and over here you can see that our table structure which we have shown over there and let's move to our code place first so inside this you're going to view your table right so i mean to tell the button over here let me just show you this button this button delete button that delete button only we are accessing using jquery okay so over here let's give a class so we have already assigned this class and let's do the code for it so first let's copy this class name and write a simple code jq on event function okay as simple on this we need to select with the document so whenever the website loads automatically and your event will be click event on what click is nothing but your delete button so delete button is inside the class so you need to assign the dot as simple now when you click on this the action should be performed so what action you are going to perform nothing but getting this id okay so let's get this id when i click this the time this id should be called so let's get back and call that over here so first step inside this you can see inside this table whatever we have passed you can see the student id class over here so let's use this class and get the data now create a variable called student id is equal to where dollar this so whenever you click this button that time what whichever button you click on this that time it should get the closest value so closest value is nothing but the table row so let's go to the table row and what you're going to find that data okay so find what you're going to find is nothing but your student id so this is in a class so you need to assign that dot and then paste and what the data is directly pasted over here the id so it is in text format so let's give text function now let's alert and check this let's copy the student id and paste over here and test with it so let's get back refresh your page and now let's click on delete button id1 you are getting perfect let's click on id three on this let's click on delete you can see that id3 it's coming so guys on this basis only we are going to delete so let's get back and start the code about it so let's comment this and pass this in your model so what model you are going to create so let's create a model function where you are going to tell show and that model id we are going to assign that as student delete model okay let's copy this and create a model with this so we have already done some models right you can see for the adding one model we have done for viewing and editing so let's copy this view model only and uh, here we will create one more model as simple let's change this name over here so this will be a delete student model and the id you have to assign over here so what id you have given there so let's go back to a code over here script let's copy the script id and paste into your delete student model that's it so model is paste over here and let's change this title uh, let's give it as student delete data so this will be the title and remove unwanted data from here are you sure want to delete this data give question mark and create one button okay a simple like yes delete and you are going to assign a class over here let me make it to danger ajax student which will be delete button okay save this done 
and now we need to pass one input to check that id so let's pass that id over here and let's give the value not value we are going to tell id is equal to inside this student underscore delete underscore id so make unique name not any other id should not be repeated otherwise it will get clashed so make sure you are having a unique name for deleting the data let's get down to our script and paste that id into this input value let's get back script over here so before that let us give this where hash and your id so what data you are going to paste inside val so input is nothing but your value and the id which we have alerted so let's copy this and paste over here as simple now let's get back to our browser and check let's refresh okay and now let's click on delete id number one i am going to click where you can find that id is coming one so on this basis only we are going to delete the data let's check with another last value which is four so perfectly coming let's make it to this input box as hidden and delete according to that first step let's make that hidden the input box this is the student delete input h e i d d e n hidden that's it save and now let's code that so first you have to copy this ajax student delete button let's copy and go back to your script and type the code for it so let me just minimize with this and same way you can just copy and paste that so let's copy this and copy the last statement and then make sure you are copying this button and paste over here so whenever you click this that button will work so let me just alert the data first let's create one variable call student underscore id is equal to dollar you are going to get the value dot val so what value are going to get which value well, let's go to your model let me just minimize with this also table this is your model delete model inside this you have given that input where delete the id you are going to call this value inside this so you are using id give a hash and then your data will be over here and let's pass this into your uh, jquery ajax so let's create the ajax over here to delete the data perfectly let's use jq ajax and make this method from type to method where you are going to use the post method only to delete data and you don't need this data type because we don't require and now we need to set the url so let's set the url call ajax student ajax hyphen student forward slash where i'm going to tell delete and inside this data the data you are going to pass so let's pass that first so let's create an input which will be student id and inside the student id you are going to pass your this variable which you have created and give comma or else ignore with that save and now after the success whatever the response you are getting at that time you have to save so first let's create a route for it so let's go to our routes.php and create a route let's create a routes where i'm going to use the post method because we have given post and inside this pass the route create a route and then call your controller so we are going to use the same controller ajax student controller where we are going to where delete function okay so let's go to our student controller and create a delete function let's move over there and now you need to create that function public function delete function and inside this you have to create a variable called student is equal to where key of your ajax student your model so ajax student and inside this you have to input at the top so input your class that is your model okay so this is my model which we have created over here so let's get back to a controller called delete function 
and now let's copy this your object and call the delete function given by codeigniter and inside this you are going to call your id so what id you are going to call dollar this of which is a request of your by getting the data by post method okay so what you are going to get the code you have written ajax so let's copy the student id and paste over here as simple done so once the id gets over here it will automatically delete the data after deleting you need to send the message so let us just copy from top only and send that data over here done and now when you set this response over here you will tell deleted successfully so once you are this is setting right you are getting the res return response so this response you are going to get in your ajax query uh, in your success function so let's give the mm, message to show that i'm using alertify so if you don't know how to integrate that please watch out the video link given in the description let me paste it done so once each success is correctly if it is done that time it will call this status so let's copy this status and you need to paste over here as simple so let's get back over here when you click on delete okay so when you click on delete yes delete that time this model should automatically close and then this table also should refresh without page reload so let's paste that code also over here as simple you can see to load the data we have used the function called this load so first let us call that and to close your model to close your model that means let's call that model over here model function oops spelling mistake over here and let's give hide and what what model you are going to hide is nothing but your student delete model so let me go to top and copy the student delete model id copy that and paste back over here so once deleted that time you are going to load the table so before loading that i want to empty and again load that so for that which you need to copy your table name let me just open so this is my to load the data so let me just copy that and load that over here it's in the class so give dot and then whatever the data is there first make it empty and then load the table data okay and set the message simple so let's save this and now let's get back refresh the page and test the output let's click and um, let me add one data called dummy 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 where phone and let me just click on save you can see please enter course so let's enter course bca let's save you can see student inserted successfully and the data also has come without page reload okay and let's click on delete this data so let's click yes delete you can see data deleted successfully and that id number 5 is deleted so guys we have successfully completed our crud application using jquery ajax in codeigniter 4 and thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share